Thanks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into it. Everyone's been telling me that this is a really exciting episode, but to be honest, I don't see it topping the last one. The death episode was so freaking good. I, I cannot believe how good that death episode was. So let's just jump right into it, baby. Let's do it, baby. Dude, everyone's spamming lore. Why is everyone spamming lore? And here at this site, my great uncle Gumball cut down all these- Her uncle Gumball? You mean the guy that accused Dream of drama? Why am I so invested in YouTube drama? People still spamming lore? What? Is that- Is Gumball like an actual important character in Adventure Time? All night. Because those trees were evil. Right, Princess Bubblegum? Nah. Hey, but I bet you have- <laughs> Oh, my, oh, Uncle Gumball, he killed lots of people. Yeah, but those people were probably bad. No, no, they weren't. Allow me to thank the wonderful people over at War Thunder for sponsoring this video. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, bar none, period. You can play with more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. Customize your historical war machines with thousands of anime-related skins made by the community. Or join War Thunder's creative community and create your own. Play for free now on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. The collection of vehicles in War Thunder spans over 100 years of development. From the 1920s to the present day, this includes exotic vehicles like the AH-1S Kizarazu, helicopter of the JSDF, which uses an anime-style camouflage in real life. Whether you like girls and panzers, strike witches, or Kantai collection, War Thunder offers intense PvP battles at various immersion levels for all play styles on tanks, aircrafts, and ships. I love the incredible amounts you can customize your vehicles with anime-themed skins so that when you defeat someone, they will know that someone with a waifu on their tank destroyed them, and it just, it annoys people in the most petty and wonderful way ever, and it's my favorite thing. The graphics are incredible. The destruction effects make you feel like you're there. So, ladies and gentlemen, play War Thunder right now for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using my link in the pinned comment or video description. No ifs, no maybes, do it! War Thunder players can play across all platforms, as well as those who haven't played for at least six months can claim the Body Pillow Pack by using my link. The pack includes multiple premium vehicles, premium account, and your new favorite, Dakimakura, among other bonuses, and it is available for a limited time only. War Thunder players that are veterans also have a reason to follow the link because they can also claim the Dakimakura on all platforms. Thank you so much, War Thunder, for sponsoring this video and my madness and shenanigans, and back to the video. I have a ton of stories about your human Human relatives. Um. No. Human relatives? Wait, yeah, Princess Bubblegum's not human. Dude, are we getting human lore? Not really. I've never even met any other humans. Holy shit, dude. Double lore! Lore! Dude, I, I'm telling you, I am watching this eyes open, okay? I'm actually watching this. I'm taking notes. I'm like, seriously invested. I'm going to get, I want to give Adventure Time the ultimate coverage from beginning to end, the ultimate binge, going through everything, analyze, turning over every leaf. I will leave no snail shell unsucked. If I think about it too much. It'll probably be in an Illuminati video at some point because you know how she likes ripping off people's quotes. I get all soul searchy and weird. True. Oh my. I've made things awkward. Well, let's forget about that. I've made things awkward. Oh, show them your tits, Princess Bubblegum. It'll work. I'm telling you. I brought you guys here because I need you to rip out all these stumps. Okay. Yeah, well, random menial labor. That's just your average Princess Bubblegum shenanigans. I, I know I literally mentioned this. Literally. Like, literally in the previous episode with Death, giving where she made them watch the fucking flower of shit. Can we just acknowledge that this is not what a healthy relationship looks like? Chat, I know that you're all, you all, y'all never touched grass before in your life, and you think that this is what relationship is. You are correct. Let's continue. <laughs> that was a joke, dude. That was a joke. Hey, I guess so. Yeah, man, it'll be fun. Toss the Jake Sploder. Yeah. Oh! That was incredible! I freaking love Adventure Time so much. I love Adventure Time so much. Spamow! On a lore level, I'm loving just uncovering more and more secrets about the world. I'm like more than a season and a half into this show, and I still feel like I'm barely scratching the surface of the lore of what this world has to offer. The characters continue to gain more and more depth as the show goes on. Not so much Finn and Jake, per se, as much as like every other supporting character, but bro, the personality and comedy and creativity in every episode just continues to blow me away. 
Like, I'm happy I'm giving this, like, the actual analytical review it deserves. Glad to see you out of that funk about being the only human. God, stop doing that! Oh my god, bro. Why the fuck is. <laughs> Dude, this is like I'm rewatching Invincible all over again. It's like Invincible Season 2, where every single two seconds someone says, Remember when Omni Man destroyed Chicago? Oh, sorry, Mark. I forgot that you were here. It's like, oh, yeah, fucking bullshit. Yeah, I used to be a superhero, but then I was murdered by a uh, by Omni Man. Oh, Mark, I totally forgot that's your dad. <laughs> it's like, oh, stop it, please. I mean, well, I'm gonna scram. No hard feelings, right? Again, man. Huck. Ow. Whoa. That's a metal stump. Stump. Huh? It's a hatch. A hatch. A hatch. <gasps> Bro, just type in the numbers. 4, 8, 15, 16, 21, 32. I don't remember all the numbers from, from Lost. I, that was a failed reference. We should check it out, you think? It's <laughs> dark, huh? Okay. Whoa, 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 Dude, this, these are the people living in, in the fucking Underdark, right? These are char these are Undertale characters. Don't tell me they think that this is all of existence. Yo, oh my god, this is like existential. These are characters that don't know of an outside world, maybe. They've lived here. The furries that lived in the abandoned city since the apocalypse, thinking that there's what remains of... No shot, right? There's, there's no way it's that dark. <laughs> Light scares them because they've lived in this underdark for so fucking long. Two reasons why I already like her as a character. The fact that she's wearing a hat and that her eyes are cool. Shao! <gasps> oh my god, Kapsa! These people are so terrified. These are humans that are dressed like ant- They're furries! These are literally furries! Don't tell me! All that remained of humanity surviving an apocalypse was the furries! Only the furries survived! Here of their own shadows. We could rule them like- Yo! Jake is so based. <laughs> gods! Angry gods. Dude, I love Jake Don't be so scared. much. I love him so much! Come on. Yeah, it's okay. Beat the shit out of him. Your, your face. You're just like me. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, they really are furries. I can't believe it. Hey, wait. Shh, they're startled. You gotta be gentle with wild animals. I don't. <laughs> I love this show. I love it. The commentary, the everything. Bro, Jake knows how to rule a nation of underprivileged people. He's done it before. I think they're animals, Jake. I think this could be a tribe of humans. <laughs> what are these guys doing down here in this crummy hole? I don't know, man. Maybe they just don't know any other thing. Dude, that's insane. I, I can't. First of all, I called it. I am such a legend. Also, that is such wild lore. What is going on with the hats? We've seen Finn's hair before, and it was glorious. Finn is a Super Saiyan. He would slap Goku and Superman. Yes, I titled an Adventure Time video that way just to annoy people, and it probably will work. The video will be going up in a few hours at the time I'll be watching this, but... Bro, why are they all wearing, like, hats? Why don't we actually see their hair? What is going on? I, I feel like there's so much more lore here than I'm even noticing. Hey, fellows! Don't you want to get out of here? I can take you to see the sun! 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 I'll look cool, so sun! You poor things! Living down here has made you all weird, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Your average landlord goes to some one of his tenants. Ah, oh, living here has made you all weird. Mm. Your average rich guy walks out of an apartment building in Manhattan and sees a hobo. Mm. Living out here. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. That's just so captionable. Jake, I've got to save these guys. They're my people, and it's my duty to True. lead them out of Base. this gross cave. Starting with you, Miss uh... Su Sun. Susan. 
Okay, well, I guess. I'm sure. God damn, Susan! I would. I would. I would. I would. Pleased to meet you. Well, let's bring her up. God damn, look at her all swole. Heck, Susan could annihilate me. That's what I'm saying. Come on. <laughs> Is he a therapist now? Wait, what? Oh, the, how else would they get out? They were. Oh man, you're gonna love. Dude, the sun should break her face. She's lived in the dark for so long. There's no way she would. Get up be here, Susan. There's all what? sorts of wonders topside. <laughs> how has this not been a meme? I feel like that is such a such a memeable thing. There's all what? sorts of wonders topside. Me when I touch grass. <laughs> Me when I touch grass. Ah! Susan. It's just grass. <laughs> you murdered him. Ooh, my back. Grass can't hurt you. See? Grass. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, everyone in my chat right now, I would never. I could never. How is this not a meme that's literally everywhere? I feel like this is such a gifable like clip. Ah, you killed her. What? I did? Yep. Fell by surface world germs. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> My chat being like, never mind. I thought she was relatable. <laughs> oh, Susan, you got grass blood all over your face. <laughs> grass blood. It's a patoma. Susan. A tissue. Oh, hygiene. Oh, oh, get me away from there. And suddenly she has become once again relatable. A hanky won't hurt you. Oh, how am I going to show her all the wonders of Vu if every little thing freaks her out? Patience. Very well. Then I shall introduce Susan to Ooh by degrees. Yeah! Incremental time! Bro, Adventure Time is actually peak fiction. I, I know I've said that before, but Adventure Time is actually so freaking peak. I don't know how I slept on this for so many years, but this show is so insanely, unfathomably, beautifully peak. I am so happy. I am giving, finally, giving it the love it deserves, literally giving this the ultimate appreciation. That can't hurt you. That's a dancing bug. Ah! Dancing bugs! We've seen them before! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> this is such a wholesome episode. Like, I'm actually just, like, touched by all this, honestly. <gasps> That's just a rock. A low-level enemy. <laughs> a low-level enemy. <laughs> How I teach people about, ah, oh, that? That's just vegetables. A low-level enemy. Just a rock. God, I wish that rock was me! <laughs> What's wrong? <gasps> hey, 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 it's okay! Very See? awesome. <laughs> dude, Finn's so cute. Aw, oh, dude, she's so cute and wholesome. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Susan Strong, this is where you belong. Hanging with me. With DMCA music, it happens to me every time they sing, I get copyrighted away. This is almost metaphorical for like relationships. I guess this is Susan Strong or whatever her name is and Finn that have like a relationship right now. Both of these characters lived in a world where they thought that world was everything and they didn't realize there was a whole other world past that world. And it's through each other that they do find it. That's like, that's beautiful. Cause you're a human just like me, Susan, and I want you in my life. Susan Strong, you turn my heart on. Don't tell me she's gonna take this as like a marriage proposal. Hey Jake, how's your marshmallow, man? Golden as a weedy sunset. How's yours? Hmm. Perfect. No! Ah! Ah, that's how my dad eats steak. He's like, mm, yes, oh, yes, I do love my steak when it tastes, tastes like my shoe. Who's your shoes, Em? 
<laughs> That's adorable. Mm. Oh, that is good. What? That was that was just English, bro. Dang, she is way into candy. Hey, yeah, Susan, we should take you to the Candy Kingdom. Everything is candy there. You know, she may be too excited about candy. <laughs> Have you ever considered not overdosing your child on drugs? Have you ever considered that, though? Yeah. <laughs> candy kingdom! <laughs> oh, God, don't tell me she like you. <laughs> oh, no! I've enjoyed your visit immensely, Susan Strong. Finn. Yeah, Sus? Finn. Where's all the candy you were taught about? Oh, well, it's every- No, they're caught up. They're about to cause mass havoc, aren't they? The buildings, the lampposts, even- Yo! Dude, Peppermint Butler is actually gonna start giving me nightmares. Man just in casually knows death. We're all candy here. <gasps> candy, candy! <laughs> Susan! <laughs> Susan! No, you can't eat the ones that talk. They're special. They got aspirations. They have hopes. They have dreams. Also cannibalism, bro. Oh, oh. It's okay. You're learning. Have some sidewalk brittle instead. Mmm! <laughs> oh. Now I'm gonna get friends. We eat all of Candy Kingdom. What? Oh, no, 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 no. We won't eat Red Stripe Man. Only everyone else so based so real ladies and gentlemen it's as simple as this be a cannibal bye no <laughs> no you can't eat the candy people <sighs> oh boy so now what fight the humans to the death when they attack no man they're my peeps we have to save the candy kingdom without hurting them they're gonna what don't worry we have a plan we just have to scare the humans away very well. Why are the humans in this world treated like just random bumbling beasts? I guess they are in this in this universe. I'll gather my citizens in the courtyard, and you shall see how terrifying the candy people can be. Princess Bubblegum, you do not need to convince me that you're terrifying. A blue, blue, blue. <laughs> They're doomed. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> all have that same shit. They, why do they all have hats? Why are they furries? Can you explain this to me, please? I don't oh, just grass. I just grass. Dude, I love how they all have, like, cleavage for some reason. Ah, oh, these candy weapons are too cute to be scary. Good news, Finn. I've managed to make my people horrifying. But how? I disguised them as gruesome creatures, like witches and... They gave this little candy a butt? Scotch is a Beelzebub. Start you die in the first episode. Aw, so cute. I just want to give them candy. Oh, no, it's the horn of winter. <laughs> Show me your scary face. Oh, uh, rawr. I don't think that'll scare anybody. No, duh. She's, um, she... Hey, princess. That's right. <laughs> What? <laughs> I need a little wagon and your biggest roll of wax paper. Yeah, there we go. All you gotta do is scare them away using shadows. Because in the dark underground, there are no shadows. Because there's no light. This is literally the allegory of the cave. It's an allegory presented by the Greek philosopher Plato in his work, Republic blah, 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 to compare the effect of education and the lack of it in our nature. The allegory of the cave, he describes a group of people who have lived chained to the wall of a cave all their lives facing a blank wall. The people watch shadows projected on the wall by objects passing in front of a fire behind them and give names to these shadows. The shadows are the prisoner's reality, but not accurate representations of the real world. The shadows represent the fragment of reality that we can normally perceive through our senses, while the objects under the sun represent the true forms of the objects we can only perceive through reason. This is your allegory of the cave. Here you have people, their whole entire lives, chains with their back to the wall, just looking at a wall, seeing these shadows. These shadows are their entire reality, even though they're just these stick figures. They're not something that's actually real. And living your whole life in fear of these shadows will prevent you from actually finding some semblance of reality. This episode of those people living underground for so, so long, they were living a life only seeing shadows. 
These are things that they think they fear. In their mind, they created these in their mind as actual creatures with power when in actuality there are nothing but shadows and it's only through education seeing the outside world and sunlight that you can overcome you, what you thought reality was which is exactly what happened to strong lady susan in this episode in this episode susan originally walked out and was scared of grass and was scared of shadows but through education managed to overcome all of these things and understand that reality is not our subjective perception of it. it's working Oh, <laughs> you gave them the information to defeat you. Oh man, they've learned how to learn. Hide yourselves, candy people. I'll try to make Susan see reason. <laughs> the marshmallow kids never run from a scrap. Oh no. Oh no! Come on, fellas. Today, we are man mallows. <laughs> Fellow no. humans, the candy people are no threat to you. Charge! Wait, stop! Stop! Oh my god, bro. The marshmallows are all gonna die. The people are gonna burn. Hat lore? My people! Wait! What? <laughs> They're fish people! They're not even humans! I mean, A, pussy is pussy, am I right? But still! <gasps> they're... they're not humans? Susan? Susan, what are you? Susan is a human, though. She actually has hair. All the other ones didn't have hair. Maybe they're just a different species, fish people, and she ended up lumped in with them somehow. <laughs> Susan? Right, she li she has hair. She is not a fish person like the rest of them. Dude, I love this show so much. There is so much. Susan, what are you? And so Finn is still just so ever alone. Like this was an episode where he thought, oh, dude, dude, very fishy. Is everyone okay? Marshmallow kids? We'll just be gooey for a while. <laughs> They're fucking immortal. What the shit was that? <laughs> hey, buddy, we did it. Finn, you okay? Jake, do you think she was human or just another wild animal? We're all wild animals, brother. This, this is so good. This show is so peak. It's so fucking peak. That's cannibalism. Just saying. Yeah, I guess we are. We are all wild animals, bro. These fake boundaries that we put upon each other are so not real. They're purely in our mind. People that are racist or sexist or classist or any of that shit, none of that's real. That's all just a fabrication in people's minds. You're all the same. Here, among sentient creatures, it's the same shit. That's, that's wild. That's beautiful. This episode was fucking phenomenal. Editor, include all this into the video. Don't, don't you dare cut this out of the video, goddammit, Stevie. And also include this following plug to my main channel where I do an hour-long analysis of every single episode of the first season. It is linked in the description. Definitely go check that out. And with that, we continue. If you want to hear my detailed analysis on every episode of season one, breaking down why Adventure Time might be the best thing ever made, go check it out. Link in the description. It's on my main channel now. But before you click off, please link in the description and pinned comment to War Thunder, the wonderful people that sponsor this video. Support me by supporting them. Thank you so much. I love you. Mwah.